Hey, it's Rick. Welcome to the channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how I made a screen stretcher for screen printing. I've been wanting to print some of my own t-shirt designs, and this is the next piece of equipment I need. You can buy these, but I thought I'd save a few bucks and make it myself. The reason I'm making this is I got a great deal on a bunch of aluminum frames from a print company that was going out of business. I only paid 10 bucks a piece for these, and new screens cost me closer to 50 bucks here in Canada. So this was a pretty good deal. I start by building the outer frame from one and a half inch by eighth inch thick angle iron that I had lying around. It's approximately 30 inches by 40 inches. I mitered the ends of my bandsaw to make, essentially, a metal picture frame and weld them together. Now I have to make the part that holds the actual screen. This is half inch by half inch metal sandwiched in the middle with one and a half by one quarter inch metal on the outside and then weld it along the bottom. Hopefully this animation will explain it. A piece of wood will wedge into the channel, trapping the piece of screen along its entire edge. I stitch welded it along the bottom. I drew out a pattern for the knobs and I traced it onto a piece of scrap metal I had laying around. Then I cut those pieces out with the plasma cutter. It's hard to keep steady when you're freehanding it, but I'll clean them up on the grinder. Here they are all cut, and there's a total of eight of them. Because these knobs need to be threaded, the next step is to drill a hole in each one. I'm using this piece of threaded rod as a guide so that I weld the nut in the exact middle of the hole. I'm using one of the standoffs as a platform to hold the part while I weld it. I'm holding it down with the head of this brass hammer while I weld it in place. Here's what they look like when they're done. Three tack welds around each nut, I didn't want to apply too much heat by welding them completely or the nut might deform. Here's the standoff I'm going to make for the knobs. To close off the ends with a ready-made hole, I'm just going to weld these washers on one end. The reason I want this standoff is that if the knob is right up close to the angle iron frame, it might be awkward to get any real force or leverage on it to turn it. But the standoff will space it farther away, giving you a better grip. I'm going to mount the whole thing to a piece of plywood for strength. This was literally the most expensive piece of the build. This 4 foot by 8 foot piece of half inch thick plywood cost me a hundred bucks. Once the plywood was marked and cut out, I drilled through the angle iron and used that as a guide to drill through the plywood. I mounted it to the plywood with 1 quarter by 20 1 inch long bolts with nuts and washers. This means that the whole thing could be screwed down to a tabletop if I wanted to which I might do. The next step is to try it out. I'm grinding all the old material off this old aluminum frame. I also wash these down with acetone to remove all the old ink from the surface so the glue will stick. I've cut a piece of OSB to the size of the frame for a riser underneath. You want the top of the frame to be slightly above the height of the stretcher so that the material sits tightly against it, almost like it's being pulled down and out at the same time. Now before I test this, I need to know what kind of tension I'm supposed to have, so I'll test a new store-bought screen. This device is a screen tension meter. I got it from Amazon for about 160 bucks. This is a brand new store-bought screen, so the tension on this is what I'm aiming for with my own stretch screens. Simply place the meter down on the middle of the screen and take the reading. This one reads about 22 newtons per centimeter, which is good. From what I've read, your minimum reading should be no lower than 15 newtons per centimeter, with the ideal range being between 25 and 35. I've tested all the store-bought screens I have, there's about 8 or 9 of them, and they all test around 21 to 25. I bought them from different places, so I guess that's just average. If your screen tension is too low, 
you risk the screen shifting around horizontally while you're pushing it with a squeegee, giving you a crappy, smudged-looking print. I've read that screens will stretch over time, so the tension you start with may not maintain forever. It's probably best to shoot for a slightly higher tension when stretching than where you want to end up at. Time to test out the stretcher. I've already tried this several times and ran into a few problems. The screen kept ripping at the corners, so I had to shorten the stretchers a bit to be shorter than the screen itself. I also had problems with the wooden wedges being slightly undersized in spots, allowing the mesh to pull out. You've really got to be careful with the mesh. It's under so much tension when you stretch it that if you get one tiny hole, it tears straight across. And then you've got to cut a new piece and start again. Now it's just a matter of tightening all the handles until the screen's pulled tight. I put the meter on it at the end and it measures about 17. Not bad. Here I'm spreading the glue with a plastic putty knife from the dollar store. In hindsight, this glue was a little too thick. I would recommend the water-thin super glue since it seeps into the mesh better. Then I hit the whole thing with accelerator to make sure it's cured. Now it's just a matter of loosening all the screws to release the tension, and cutting out the mesh to the outside of the frame to release the screen. And there you have it, one new screen. You can see the tension's around 17, not as tight as a new one, but still acceptable. I think with a little more practice I can get it tighter. Like anything, this is a skill you'll have to develop a feel for. You'll have to do a little bit of prototyping and tweaking to get it to work just right, but that's the nature of building things yourself. And that's it for now. I hope this inspired you to go build your own screen stretcher. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. Thanks for watching.